Yeah, um, speaking of lesser hardware, uh, Microsoft announces Windows 365. It's probably not what you think. It is not subscription Windows uh, in the sense that you just, you have a computer and you pay a subscription to have Windows. Mm -hmm. It is not that. Um, it, there, oh. So Azure Virtual Desktop, which probably none of you know about, unless you're really into that type of stuff, has existed for a long time, but this is is now for the everybody, essentially. Uh, it's a virtual private desktop in the cloud running Windows 10, eventually Windows 11, blah, 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 don't worry about that. It is currently geared towards small businesses, and I, I don't think it says this in particular, but I highly suspect education institutions it's going to be massive for because pretty much everyone there just needs like a browser and a word uh, document editor. Um, and that's amazing for this. It's it's aimed at uh, deployments of under 300 machines. Uh, there's a management interface, so you can see a clear overview of every virtual desktop you have access to, which is actually kind of cool because you might have access to more than one. I could see situations where that would make sense. Um, each virtual desktop has Microsoft Office. If you have very low spec um, setups, you get web versions, which is fine. It has Edge, it has OneDrive, it has an array of other software. It's really fantastic for Microsoft to get you in on this because you're probably gonna be using a lot of their first party tools. Um, all virtual desktops come with 10 gigabit per second download speeds and four gigabit per second upload speeds. Um, and the pricing is gonna vary. There are gonna be a, a multitude of configurations. One, two, four, six, and eight uh, virtual CPU cores, two, four, eight, 16, 32 gigs of RAM, 64, 128, 256, and 512 gigs of storage. Um, and apparently there's gonna be more pricing information and whatnot on August the 2nd. You could do some real work with some of those specs, like for school, yes, we're could. not talking just like, docs necessarily we're talking you could do you know some actual engineering work and stuff like that and yeah. there's plenty of room for them to expand the offering in the future maybe offer dedicated gpus or whatever the case may be uh amazon workspaces does offer similar configs but doesn't come with office citrix workspace offers lower prices but starts at 500 seats um so Microsoft is looking reasonably competitive here and you know what, good for them. And I'm glad that I don't have to pay a subscription for running Windows on my desktop. Yay. Yeah. yeah. 